Well, I thought I wasn't going to add another television to my collection, but here it is. Here it is. I just acquired this from a local uh, Craigslist seller. I got it for half the price he was asking because his price was really kind of high. And although I, th I always think I pay too much for these, at least I got it for a better price. Um, this is a 30C15 1948 model. My uh, father bought an Admiral TV in 1952, 53. I can remember it when I was that old. I was five and six years old. It was probably a 48 or 49 model, but it wasn't a console like this. It was a Bakelite table model. So this, this Admiral TV kind of reminds me of that old set that we had. I watched a lot of shows on that first TV when I was a kid. This set's in very good condition. I tested the CRT when I was at the location where the set where I bought the set from and although it, it it doesn't test very high it does test up in the lower end of the good range so I it'll it'll at least produce a picture when it's electrically restored it's a very nice set I, I didn't want to add another TV set to my collection because I'm I'm running out of room I don't know even know where I'm going to temporarily put this I hate the idea of cluttering up uh, too many things, but I just I just was endeared to this set. And even though it's not the tabletop Bakelite model, it's it's at least uh, represents my first uh, memories of watching television in '52, '53, '4, and '5, up to '56 because we had that Admiral set, and I watched a lot of shows on that. Here's the back of the set. I probably won't start working on this for a while. There's going to be no part one video on it yet. I don't want to start any more part one videos until I start getting some of the other part ones done because that's just about the way it is here like I say I didn't want to add another set to this uh, glow my growing collection but I just was endeared to this set and I thought I would get it and so now I have it and that's the way it is folks I'm still working on that Sylvania that's on my bench the 1948 Sylvania set that I have a feeling that that set is going to be <laughs> I, I wonder how far I'm ever going to get with it but it's still on the bench and I'm still working on it it's November 1st 2019 we it's pretty cold outside we've had an early snowfall yesterday about four inches of snow still out there a lot of ice today because it got very cold this uh, collection of three TVs in my front room uh, it's my collection that represents my early years of growing up with television these are representative sets that I got uh, as a nostalgic uh, uh, reasons uh, because I remember all the different televisions we had when I was a kid but in this video I'm primarily focusing on this Admiral 30A15 set. Uh, I acquired it a, a, a few years ago from a local Craigslist seller. I don't believe I ever did a part one video on it. Uh, at least I hadn't found it, so <laughs> uh, I'll call this a part one. But I've decided I'm going to uh, try to restore it electronically. I've been watching Bob Anderson's uh, videos on his admirals and I'm going to tackle this that I'd like to get it working. Uh, I did uh, uh, do a preliminary test on the CRT but I will again when I get the chassis on my bench. But anyways uh, uh, this is going to be now if anybody's been watching any of these videos I make which I don't think there's a lot of people watching the uh, 1948 Silvertone 
uh, is not dead in the water. I, I, it's been a few years that I've been working on it, but I'm looking for another power transformer to uh, add to it because I want to put the 5U4 rectifiers back in. That's another story. But anyways, this is a, this will be the part one uh, video on my Admiral uh, 30C. It's a 30C15. I think I said A, but the model number is a 30C15. Uh, hopefully, uh, I might be able to get it working.